Carlton Fisk, what's good, man? Yep. yep. What's up, bro? Appreciate Bobby. you, man. This is episode 42 of the Carrying the Culture Show. <laughs> Staten Island Zone, Wu Tang Soldier, Carlton Fisk. Thank you for joining us, man. Appreciate you. Nah, it's not a problem, bro. I like the shit you do. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna hold you right. Right or wrong or indifferent, right? Your opinion is your opinion, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you make me laugh and shit. You know what that's, I'm saying? That's good. Nah, I appreciate you. A lot of times, nah, for real. A lot of times, I see shit getting posted and whatever, whatever. Shit make me laugh. But I'm like, you make a lot of points, though. A lot of shit you be saying, though, be shit that might offend somebody else. And you know what respect, because, you know, you never going to satisfy everybody. You know what I'm saying? But with respect, though, you a lot of questions you pose, like, make me say, like, Ah, hold up. I got to think back. I got to, you know what I mean? It's dope. I like no, that anyway. I appreciate you, man. I really do, because not everybody feels that way about my shit, so. Yeah, sometimes, yo, man, sometimes, man, you got to have a sense of humor, bro. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You got to have a sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? Certain shit is just meant to be laughed at, and you know what I'm saying? And you move on. You ain't got to take it personal. Yeah, just keep it moving, man. It's not about everything, is it? We're so uptight now, man. It's like we can't fucking. I mean, like niggas couldn't survive Sanford and Son and Archie Bunker. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, hell no, hell no. Nah, Are you nah. crazy? People, people be way offended. You know what I'm saying by shit like that now, and especially like the way it's through the world's too sensitive. Way too sensitive. Uh, a couple quick things before we get this jumping. So if you got questions for Carlton Fish, use the questions feature below. I can pull them up and then he can see Ray them. up. Ah, I see you, Ray up. Um, so look. Yeah, that's people's right there. Yeah, um, that's good, good people. Yeah, so, um, and then the other thing is, yo, if, if, just like on the page, if you'll be getting fuck shit on the show, I'll fucking send you home, man. I, it's too much to navigate with niggas while I'm out here, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucking I, I can tell this is about to be off the hook right here. Um, Yo, I got a funny sense of humor, you know what I'm saying? That's great. So, you know what I mean? So, certain shit be funny to me. No disrespect to nobody, you know what I'm saying? But I'm one of them dudes like this. It's like, yo, if I'm just me, if I'm man enough to say it, right, or in, anywhere, right, I'm going to say it to a nigga face, you know what I mean? Word. Oh, Chrissy Mack joint, peace. Peace, Word. Chrissy Mack. E I M G. Ooh. How you doing? Well, but overall though, man, I like I like it when you got people that is so invested and been it so rooted in the culture all their life, you know what I'm saying? And you just got opinions about shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Right. No, I appreciate you, man. Salute to everybody joining in. We got Carlton Fist in the fucking building. Um, so I had a lot of questions, yo. You you like the a mystery nigga to me because you know what I'm saying uh, like to cow album drops and and I'm like I get to PLO style Mr. Sandman I'm like hold on who that nigga like you had the who that nigga like shit for, oh, for well, years I'm like you. I'm like who that nigga and those are those are two of my favorite joints on the album and then I didn't really hear nothing and then we, I, and I, I did some research, and I tried to research for your interviews, son. Ain't a lot of shit out there as far as interviews, nothing. So for me, this is this is a privilege because you were one of the cats that was, you know, affiliated with Wu that I wanted to hear more from, that I wanted to know more about. There's reasons why it didn't happen and stuff, but I wanted to hear, and, and I wanted to know more about. So it's like, it was always like, you were like snake eyes or some shit to me. Like, we're like, who, who, who the fuck is this cat coming in murking this shit? And then he out. You know what I'm saying? So yo, yo, the story is crazy though. Like all of that, what you saying right now? If I told you, if I told you how I even got involved with all of this shit, you wouldn't even believe me, bro. Well, that, well that's what I was about to ask you. So, because yeah, I heard part of the story that, but as far as PLO and shit, and how? So please tell it, man, because it's very, it's crazy, and I, and I, I, I think it's important. I first, first is like this, right? When I moved out here, I'm, I, I, didn't, I wasn't born in Staten Island. You know what I'm saying? I was born in another borough. I was born in Queens, but I lived in Brooklyn. I lived in Harlem, and I was raised in the Bronx. I moved to Staten Island when I was 10, mm. right? So that summer, I moved out here in the summer. So that summer, you know, 
my grand I moved out here with my mother's grandmother and shit. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, yo, you want to meet people, go to the park. I'm 10 years old. So I go to the park. I meet Ray. I meet you, God. You know what I'm saying? I meet um Cappy's brother, the Boomer. You know what I'm saying? I meet Dak. I meet... I mean, um, my brother, Boom! you know what I'm saying? I meet all these dudes when we 10. Meth didn't live on our block. You know what I'm saying? So it's my block now that I moved there. So now when Meth moved on the block, we was like 15, 14, 15. But I knew Meth's family. They lived across the street from me. And uh, A Rich Twin was popping. Ooh, that's my girl right there. Right? That's my so, people. So Lil Rich Twin, no doubt. So, yeah, so. Overall and shit, it was like I knew Meth moms already. I knew his sisters, right? And then um, Meth's older sister um was going with the older guard lived in my building, so that's how I knew them. Then I met him. That's a whole nother story. What happened when me and him met? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, getting back to the music. I right, look, I was never known for rap in my hood, right? I never, I never wrote no songs. Niggas don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, Meth, I knew Meth, Meth was already rapping before he came here. Right. He was already nice for that, for that time. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he was, you know, he was already that lyrical person that, you know, he was that, you know, but just younger. And um, I just was the nigga that niggas fucked with. You know what I'm saying? I was the one not, you know, all, all of us was in the street, but I was the one really, really heavy in the street. So a lot of times it would be like, Ray, this is way before Takao and all of that. It's like Ray would come get me and be like, yo, what you doing? You ain't doing nothing. You'll call me upstairs. But he be going upstairs to write. So I be sitting there smoking with him and shit like that. Same shit with meth. Deck lived in the apartment over top of me. I lived in 5D. Deck and his moms and his family lived in 6D. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I always had that the musical people around me, you know, because I fucked with each one of them on the one on one. Basically, that when when Takao was being done, I just came home. I just came home from doing a Rikers Island bit or something, and um, Meth was doing Takao. He had already did his album, right? It was already completed. Then Rizzo Basement got flooded. Rizzo Basement got flooded, so he had like. He had a deadline to turn his album in. It was probably like three weeks or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I just happened to come home in that time. And to be honest, Meth really just didn't want me out. Or didn't want me in the hood at the time. And he wasn't even, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't no big person. You know, he was on the come up. But, you know, me and him was, me and him was so tight. He was like, yo, just come into the studio. I just happened to while during that three-week process, writing in the studio, just being in there, you know what I'm saying? And he wound up, I wound up doing these songs. I never recorded before. I never, I didn't even know what 16 Balls was. I didn't know, now nah, facts. When I did take out, I didn't know nothing about song structure, no nothing. I didn't have a book full of rhymes or none of that. I sat in the studio and just wrote that shit. What? You know what I'm Nobody helped me, none of that. that like even, even Mr. Sandman, right? I did that shit in 10 minutes. Facts. The, the, the session was about to be over. I fell asleep in the studio. I woke up in the morning. It, like, because back then, like, RZA, RZA would be booking sessions from, like, 12 o'clock at night to 12 in the afternoon. You know what I'm saying? Or sometimes they would be 24 hours around the clock. And, and you know, if you knew that he was there, you could just pull up. You know what I mean? So I had fell asleep. I got up, and they like, yo, that's why I'm last on the record and everything. You know what I'm saying? Sweet twin, peace. You know what I'm saying? That's why I went last and everything. You know what I'm saying? And I was telling RZA what I wanted to say. I, I could say that. I told him what I wanted to say, and he was like, all right, just write that. I wrote it and did it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know Meth was going to put it on his album. I didn't know, yeah, peace. Big bro, your favorite topic. Yeah, bro, I see you. You know what I'm saying? Cash is king. You know what it is. You know what I mean? So now it's like I don't understand none of the concepts of what they doing. I'm just there with my man. You know what I'm saying? I've been going to RZA house since I was 12. You know what I'm saying? Going there, walking to RZA house, me, RZA brother Devon and Ray. What? You know what I'm saying? 
like shit like that. We walking to go to Rizzo House one time, and I had I had smoke with another nigga. Nigga tried to clap me <laughs> on the way. Yo, it, yo, like, like I had a lot of yo, bro. It's, anyway, so getting we back going to that, back to that after. Go ahead. So anyway, but this was the thing, right? When when I was doing to Cal, I was on the run. I had right after Mep started wanted me. I never went back. I never reported. I never nothing. Not because of what was going on with Mep, but because I had caught another case, right? So I was running from that, but Mep still fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? This is my brother. He knew what was going on with me and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But he like, yo, fuck it. I don't want you in the hood. If you ain't in the hood, they not going to catch you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, but I didn't know that. I didn't have no idea at first that he was going to put this on his album and none of that. He came and told me that shit on the corner. The first show I ever went to do was me, Meth, Biggie, and Little C's in North Carolina. And we didn't even get to perform because niggas shot at us in the club. Man, shit happened. Well, you know what I'm saying? Man, shit happened. Yo, it's crazy. Like six people got shot, all of that. That was the first time I was ever going to perform. And and we Wait, your, fir your first show. My six first show, got shit got shot up. We was in North Carolina. It's me, Meth, Biggie, and Little C's. This before Junior Mafia, before they got the deal and all of that. I was around for all of that. When when Junior Mafia got their deal with Big Beat Atlantic and all of that shit, I knew about it because through Meth's relationship with Big, we would see them all the time away from the studio out in the street. Like, niggas would call Meth. We would, me and Meth together all the time, like Big and C's together all the time. So if Big called Meth, like, yo, where you at? Pull up. We pulling up. So it was, you know what I mean? It was, it was. Man, anyway, I got another story anyway about that shit, how we got ran up on at the airport. No, but anyway, I got a lot of, sto you know, different stories and shit about fucking with different dudes. And I fuck with a lot of different rap dudes because different ones from new that I knew that I met because they showed me love and it wasn't about music. It didn't have these certain, I can name certain rappers that I never did a record with, right? I never did a song with, I was never in none of one of their videos. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I was never in one of their videos or nothing, but they was niggas like, yo, yo, bro, if you going through anything, holla at me. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even gonna say their names and put they, but they know who they are, you know what I'm saying? And 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 not to say I even, even took them up on the offer, but just the fact that they was real about it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know, yo, it's, yo, crazy. I'm just running my mouth. I'm quite sure it's shit you want to ask me and shit like that. Yo, run your mouth. mouth. I want you to run your mouth. Like, you got, <laughs> you got, you got stories. And that's, this is, here's the thing, yo, with this mm -hmm. rap shit, and I always point out to cats, like, this isn't, this isn't no, um, our history wasn't really recorded early on. And, and, a lot of this shit is word of mouth. A lot of rumors going on. Big Daddy King got AIDS. LL Cool J got like a third eye or some shit. All this shit, right? Though, like, so the shit wasn't recorded. So, like, when when niggas actually, and now people are like, are sharing stories and, do, and documenting shit. Damn, I made made this nigga spend this shit. Out. <laughs> yo, yo, you yo. gotta chill. You yo, gotta son. chill, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so it's it's important to hear from Cat Show that that we might not necessarily get a chance to hear from because you was there. You know what I'm saying? With a lot of shit going on, and people don't really understand. You know, there's a lot of cats like that. You know what I'm saying? I interviewed my man Skanks the other night, and he was like 10 or 11, and his brother. I found out his brother recorded recorded Dos Effect, recorded um, produced the Dos Effects joints in his basement. I seen that. I watched that actually. I saw that. So, I saw him. How, I saw how he told you the story about that right there. Whatever. Yeah. You know so what I mean? it's important, and man. It so, was. And, yo, but anyway. So now I'm on the run though, right? So now, PLO style was done on the day when Lauren Hill was in the studio. Shout out to Lauren Hill. You know what I'm saying? She she was there. I came. That's how I started writing this shit for PLO style. Cause I ain't want to just be sitting in the in the room with her, just doing nothing. She was there to do a song with Meth, right? She was there to do a song with Meth. I came early without Meth, cause I knew where to go. 
I'm on the run. You know what I'm saying? At the time when Meth was doing to Cali and going up into Def Jam and all of that, I was using Def Jam as my hiding spot. I was on the run. So I would go to Def Jam every day. Like, like I worked there, but everybody knew me. So I, I used to just go up there, boom. The receptionist would buzz me in the back. I go in the back, smoke with Leo Cohen. I be back there, like me and him uh, be in, the, in his office. Roll, I roll up and me and him a smoke. I go, I was running through the office, but I was really hiding out from the police and shit. You know what I'm saying? And anybody who worked at Perignon Dawn was happening. Peace, bro. That's my little bro right there. But anyway, you know, it was like nobody knew I was on the run up there or nothing. So I would just go up there every day, order food in Kevin Lau's office. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Run around Jason Jackson, um, all these executives and shit. And I just was running around. I love you too, bro. I'm running around, you know what I'm saying? But I'm hiding from the police the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So now, anyway, so when Meth tell me, yo, them songs is going on my album and all of that. And you can hear me, me and Street Life, we on the original chorus for All I Need, the album version. The okay. album version is a little different from the Mary J. Blige version, you know mm. what I'm saying? But, you know, I never worked on an album before. I never, you know, I never did. It was a first for, for a lot of shit. And again, like I said, yo, Red, what up, Red? So it's like, I didn't know shit about music as a, as a concept. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you put the bars, the hooks, boom. I ain't know none of that shit. I just knew what I liked. You know what I'm saying? And and I guess meth really felt like I could do it. You know what I'm saying? At the same time. Because here he is. This is his first album, right? This is his first album. And he putting somebody unknown on his album that nobody don't know, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Boom. But it worked out. But the only thing is meth album dropped in um, October, the same day as There Is A Dark Side, Red Man. There is a dark side. His second album dropped when Meth's first album dropped. That was the month of the man. And then I got locked up soon as 95 came. And you missed that whole shit, right? No, I missed every... No, listen. I could sit here and tell you so much of everything I missed, right? Because when I got locked up, it wasn't no Junior Mafia, right? Junior Mafia wasn't formed. They didn't have no records out, right? I got locked up before Little Kim came out with an album. Before Fo I knew Foxy, I knew Foxy when she first got signed to Def Jam, cause her brother was on tour with us, Gavin. You know what I'm saying? Big Gab, the the kid Gab, he was Sweet T's hype man from Queens. Sweet T went by the name like in the in the nineties. She had a single deal or some kind of deal with Jam Master J Records, and. She went by she she had a song out and she went by the name Sugar. But when she performed, Foxy Brown Brother was her hype man. Boom. So we was all on yeah, so we was on a tour together, but it was like, oh, she oh we was in a hotel. This is what happened to her. We was in a hotel like in San Francisco and she and, she, and the hotel elevator dropped her in the lobby. Facts. Sweet tea. Yeah, we was out of town. And we was going to a show. She was coming down. We was all waiting in the lobby. And the lobby, the elevator in the hotel broke and dropped her. Well, they had they took her out in the in the ambulance and they stretched and all of that. I remember that shit. That was a fact. But I was there for Matt. Yeah, you right. You right. I was there for a lot of the good times. And all of those was good times for me. Cause I was a nigga that wasn't used to none of that shit. You, you know wasn't even trying to really do it like that, right? Yeah, you, nah, I was on I was an off the block nigga not known for rapping. I was known for other shit. Judah Priest, you know what I'm saying? I was known for other shit on the block. When but niggas knew meth was safe with me, like everybody else, like Rizza, all of them knew that they all knew me. You know what I'm saying? So they was like, oh, he fucking with him. Well, yeah, he gonna hold meth down. If not if nothing else, he gonna hold meth down. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it was. And 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 at that time, during that time, it was just me, meth, then street, you know what I'm saying? Then street life, and then we did what we did. You know what I'm saying? But I went to jail from 1995 to 2000. So just think of that time period. 
Yeah, I know. Right? Nigga, I got locked up before horse and carriage. I got locked up before I got locked up before Mace ever had a record. Before all the, I was up north. I was up north. And that's enough. Like I was up a nigga up north, like before the locks came out. All of that, I was in the can. All the um CNN, um Nori, when he was solo, all the all these people I watched that I saw when I was moving around with meth. And they was grinding and doing what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and shit. And at the same time, they might have even had better situations than me. But I knew, you know what I'm saying? I was on my way. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So, boom. That shit got clipped for me. I did five. I came home. It was 2000. You know what I mean? What, what was that adjustment? Matter of like fact, you? I got locked up before Rockefeller started. Before what they was that made. adjust? What was that adjustment like for you coming home and then seeing shit? So like, that's a that's a decent size. Bitch. Yeah, I did. I did five. I did. I did five up north, upstate, in prison, right? But the thing about it is, I always want to make this shit clear, though, right? That yo, the nigga meth did every day with me, right? I'm going to tell you about that nigga Meth because, you know, I know he get the image awards, you know what I'm saying? You know, he the Grammy winner. He didn't, you know, people love him and all of that. But I'm telling you from on some real nigga shit, right? I went to jail. That nigga made sure I got all my money that I was supposed to get and I wasn't even there. That nigga, every show he did while I was gone, he paid me and I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? It was never a time that I called home and the phone was off. Even if he were, I would call his house, his wife would answer. You know what I'm saying? And tell me wherever he had all that except the call, all of that, bro. I came home with bands, came home to everything he had for me, car, everything. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't a rapper to begin with. I wasn't man. locked up five. I wasn't locked up five years writing rhymes and none of that. I was jailing. I was going through what I was going through, being you know being a Staten Island nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Having to put working and do so. You know what I'm saying? And 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 doing whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And part of the shit was too with me is I never wanted like I was with meth, but I didn't want to live off the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is my brother right here. And I, I was a nigga in the street running around doing my own thing before rap and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But I never wanted I never wanted to just be so comfortable with with my son because he do everything for me. Yo, I done, yo, bro, I done crashed vintage Porsches. Like, people don't know. I done been in L.A. and Hollywood, crashed vintage Porsches, 180 bands for the shit that ain't mine. You know what I'm saying? It's one that it's somebody he doing business with shit. You know what I'm saying? And he got to write a check, 200000 You know what I'm saying? Because something I did. Then turn around and give me a five-carat watch the next day. You know what I'm saying? Them the, like, them the stories I got other than me being in the can and all of that. Like, yo, that nigga is, that nigga, he my brother, bro. I love everything about that nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because when I went to jail, he made sure I was good no matter what. And then and, and all through my life, like that nigga, since he been who he was, he always made sure I was good, bro. You know wow. what I'm saying? He don't owe me nothing. That man don't owe me nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I and, and just the fact that certain shit that I did that people recognize me for it make me the humblest out of everything. Cause I was that wasn't even my thing. But I'm bust a nigga ass though with this music shit though. The, you know what I'm saying? And meth and meth always knew that. Ray always knew that. Niggas always knew that. Come on. But I, but I ain't know that at first. Yeah, cause yo, yo, you talked about this, like you actually said. I'm quoting, like, you know, that you didn't think you could do it, like really. Like, why did you? Why did Paul you not think? DJ Dice, that's my nigga right there. Oh yeah, but okay. yeah, why did I do it? No, no. Why did you think that you couldn't do it? You said that in an interview, like, uh, at some point. Like, like you were like, you know, for you, whatever reason, you didn't really think you, you. Nah, like, you know why? Look, look, when you, when you around, 
when when you around dudes, right, that you know going to be something, right? Like, look, when I first met Meth and he rhymed for me, right, the first time the nigga ever Meth rhymed for me, I said, yo, that nigga going to be somebody with that shit, right? I said, yo, off the rip. And I can tell you why, because he was really hip-hop with it. Meth, Meth got the whole scheme, everything, and he beating on his chest. He making the beat on his chest, and he rhyming, and he don't miss a beat. I'm like, yo, and what he's saying, I'm like, yo, if he had an opportunity, I'm talking about we kids. You know what I'm saying? Kappa was the same way. You know what I'm saying? But I never thought that I had that talent. You know what I'm saying? And so I didn't write like them. I didn't devote, you know what I'm saying? Like, even even the shit you see on Hulu and all of that, when niggas pulling up at RZA house, right? I was doing that same shit, just not as much as they was. You gotta understand? I even go some niggas, I grew up with them, they lived down the block, we went to school together, we did whatever. And mind you, and mind you, when ghosts used to come up the block, when niggas from down the block couldn't come up the block, you know, I would always run into him, you know. But overall, I'm saying it's like, it wasn't, I believe in myself. I could do anything. But when I'm looking at how talented they are, you know what I'm saying? And they right around, I'm like, shit, why would I even think like I'm doing it like they doing it? Right. But that, that was the thing. It was like, the nigga meth like, yo, Nah, nigga. He like, yo, why the fuck you think you own these songs? You know what I'm saying? And then I had to think about it, you know what I'm saying? Because I did the 95 Live shit with Raekwon before I got locked up. I did that. I ain't even know that I was on this shit. The nigga Busta Rhymes seen me in New Orleans and was like, yo, shout out to Busta Rhymes because that's another, that's another one of them, bro. That's another one of the people that I've known throughout rap that always kept it solid with me. Every time he seen me, it was the same love, all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I never did nothing with him. We never, it's all just organic. You know what I'm saying? We seen each other. And, 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 yo, and, and that's just what it is. I'm one of them type of people. But once Meth, once Meth made that statement, like, yo, bro, why you think you on the records? You know, because in the beginning, too, when Meth was doing the album, I would perform with the Wu. Like, I would do the Wu Tang shows. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, before Meth started doing the promo and all of that shit or whatever, whatever. So I learned a lot from all of them. But I learned a lot from all of, or each one of them brothers growing up anyway. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. You know what I mean? But, you know, you talking to me, I just run my mouth, bro. I yeah, I love saying. it. Because everything it's, I'm saying, everything I say, I could back it up. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm one of them people. I don't say nothing that I don't mean it. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And I mean everything I say. I, res I respect it, man. I can, I can feel that. You know what I'm saying? So, no, no doubt. Um, so, go back to the shit. You said you, you went off on a couple of tangents. I want to I wanna go back to them shits. I got it. One of the, one of the joints was... um. You said some kid tried to clap you when, when what, what, like when you was like, right after the PLO style or something. What happened? Oh, I, right. so, all right, so I caught a, I caught a robbery case, right? Are oh, you talking about North Carolina? No, nah, no, nah, you said like it was like, it was some music shit, and you had said like, and then you just threw out like, yo, and the kid tried to clap me or something. And I'm like, what the fuck, like? Oh shit, went... damn. Yo, that actually happened to me on multiple occasions, <laughs> right? Just tell me one. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real, for real. You know, like, like some of these, some of the people that's on the live, they actually know me, know me from this. Right, shit. right. They, they know me, they know me, they know. Like I've been in all type of shit. Like people done opened fire on me in wild type of situations. You know? Yo, but anyway, anyway though, nah, um. All I all I remember was, you know what I'm saying? Like right after the time Meth was like, yo, come with me to the studio, come with me to the studio it was a situation. You know what I'm saying? Boom. And then that that necessitated, right? That's a good word. Necessitated me not to report to the division of parole. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. I got you. All right. I got you. So now let's go to the um let's go to the North Carolina shit. Your very first show. Cause so let's 
So timeline for anybody that just jumped in. That man, um, Mets trying to get Carlton out of the, out of the streets. Like, yo, let's let's fuck. Look, you. look, I'm on the block. Boom, quick and simple. I'm on the block. Boom, whatever. Vest up, hand on me. Boom, I'm on. I'm you know I'm on the run. I don't know I'm on Meth's album. Look, I don't know I'm on the album. So he pull up on me, right? So he pull up on me, and he like, yo, what up? I'm like, yo, what you doing out here? He like, yo, I came to get you. He like, for what? He like, yo, I need you to come me to North Carolina. This is how I find out I'm on his album. I'm like, you need me to go to North Carolina? What the fuck I'm going to North Carolina for? He like, nah, I got to show Wait, wait, wait. Here. After you did the two joints, yeah. you still didn't even know you was on, you didn't know you was on the album? Nah. Because at the time they was we were doing a lot of records. Like he was doing records with all, all other members of the clan, all that it was a lot of records he did in three weeks. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no idea I was gonna be on two of them. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. You so know you was dealing with you was dealing with your, oh, your I'm own in the shit. street still. I'm just yeah. doing what I'm doing with my man while I'm with him. That's it. Right. Then I go in real life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got Boom. Right. you know what I mean? So so um I'm like, what I'm going to North Carolina for? He like, yo, we got a show. I'm like, we who? The who? I'm like, yeah, I got a show. He like, nah, me and you. I'm like, why? I'm 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 dumb as hell. He like, yo, you on my album? I'm like, what? I'm on your album. I'm like, I'm like a second slow out of everything. I'm like a second slow. Everything he's saying. He like, yo, you on my album? I'm like, I'm on your album. He like, yeah, both the records, both the records. He like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. He like, yeah. So you gotta come do the show with me. I'm like, do the show, nigga. I ain't never got on stage. I never performed. He like, don't worry about it. I got you. I'm like, yo, I can't anyway. He like, why? Wow, I got Shorty across the street. He doing this one too right there. I gotta stay right here. He like, man, how much work he got? This is meth, man. This is meth. He always been like this. I'm like, yo, now nah, he got a, he got a um 500 bum on him. He like, let him keep it. Hey, he go 500. dollars I'm like, what? He like, yo, come on. He tell me, he, he, hey, yo, he, yo, he tell me some shit like, he tell me some shit like, yo, I'm going to give you X amount of money every day, right? I'm like, he like, you don't got to shoot nobody. You don't got to get shot at. Nobody going to know. You going to come back with all the money. We going to come back in three days, right? I'm like, all right, fuck it. Come on. We go. I get to the airport, I run right into one of my ops that killed my man. Right in the airport as soon as we get there. I'm yo, <laughs> yo, yo, nah, hey yo, bro. This nigga never yo, bro, I promise you, bro. Everything, yo, look, we get in the airport. I never even been on a I never even been on a plane before, right? So I'm at the airport, I'm high as fuck. I got two pounds on me, right? No bullshit. I got two pounds of weed on me that I stuck a nigga up for the night before. Right, so boom, so I got it in a brown paper bag, rolled up the the, yo no freaky, but I got it the long way rolled down in my in my pants. Right, of course. I, 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 so we get to the airport. Meth is like, yo, give it to me. Okay, here, boom, I give it to him. He got this shit in his pants. Yo, I don't believe I'm telling this story right here. So check you gotta this finish out. it now. Check this out. Check this out. So now we in the airport. Soon as we go, soon as we go to the um, soon as we get out on boarding passes and whatever, and we get through, I run into I run into a nigga that killed my one of my mans, right? I see this nigga, I'm like, oh, I want to kill this nigga right in the airport. I'm like, yo, I'm so hot, I'm reaching for something I don't even have. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the airport reaching for something I don't even have. But anyway, so I see the nigga, he seen me. Right? So he like, yo, ah, ah, ah. He know it ain't no smoke. I swear to God, I would have stabbed him with a spoon if I had it right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I, yo, man, I would have stabbed that nigga with a shoestring. It's anything. But any, oh, oh, shit. You know, but anything. Yeah, anyway, right? So overall, this shit, you know, you know, meth. Anyway, fuck that nigga. Anyway, fuck that nigga. Anyway, anyway, right? So now, we, um, we go in the store, like, restaurant. We go to Taco Bell. We standing there, right? Boom. So now while we standing there in the line, getting the order, the nigga meth tapping me like, yo. I'm like, yo, what up? He like, yo, yo. I'm like, what? He like, yo, look down. I look down. It's like two, three ounces of weed on the floor 
the bag, the brown paper bag bust, right? In his pants and the weed falling down his pants leg. We in the airport, in the Taco Bell. I got, it's two pounds he got, right? He'll never tell his story, me, but he'll never tell his story, right? So he, he like this. I'm like, yo, don't move. I promise you, everything I'm telling is no cabinet involved. I tell a nigga, don't move. Stay right there. I go off to the side where the napkins and all that shit is at. <laughs> and I get two ground paper. I get two bags. I go over there. I bend down like I'm tying my shoe and start stuffing the weed in the bag, right? Then I tell him, yo, pull a bag out your waist. He give it to me. I stuff it in the, ba- in the other bag. Now I'm like, shake your pants out. We doing this in the airport, bro, right? He shook, he shook out all the weed out his leg. I put it in the bag. We still took that shit with us. We took it on the plane. You know what I'm saying? Yo, see, like I shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> Yo, chill out, man. It, it's not an indictable offense. That shit happened 30 years ago. Chill out, man. You know, yeah. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. Or you know what I'm saying? Be easy. But, but. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, but on that same trip, we went to North Carolina. Some shit happened in the club. They shot at us. We left. Then the next day, we decided to go outside the airport terminal. It was me, Meth, and Big. We went to go out there. We was in Texas, I think. It was like a layover. We had like an hour, two hours to wait for the next flight. I don't know who had the bright idea, right, to smoke. We still got that, the weed pounds on us and all that, right? We go outside the airport terminal, go off to the side and start smoking. I don't got no ID. At this time, you ain't need ID to board the plane. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't got no ID. I got this weed on me. Me and Bethany Big, we smoking. Boom. On the side of the airport terminal, we all the way at the end. Like, <laughs> Boom. We finished smoking. That's when the police ran down on us. Yo, ha, we like this. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm going to jail. And I'm going to jail in Texas. What the fuck is going on right now? This shit can't be life. Whoa, shit was crazy, bro. So they roll up, but they don't see us smoking or nothing. These niggas talk us out of everything. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, oh, ain't you? Oh, ain't you just like that? And just like that, poof, we were never there. <laughs> it was funny as hell. What? Big up DJ NUT. Oh, yeah, NUT. Definitely, that's my DJ right there. That's, that's, that's actually my DJ right there. I got a project coming out with him, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to talk about that. No, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, big yeah. Up, he's a, that's, a good, that's good people's right there. Big up NUT. Yeah, that's my okay. guy right there. Yo, you know so... You did a couple, you know what I'm saying? You did a couple of bits, man. So, you know what I'm saying? How have you matured, man, over the years now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, bro, you know listen, saying? let me tell you something. Right now, it's like this, right? But it wasn't like I didn't know this years ago, right? It, 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 ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't no, it ain't like I didn't know this years ago. But my thing is this, right? Like, maybe it's just I always been on parole. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like. Real shit like prison reform and the shit that's going on, you know what I'm saying, with the judge and shit. It's like, yo, people really be fucked up. I don't care what state you living in. The prison systems be fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But not only that, though, it's like everything I was doing in the street wasn't really mine the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you know, I got I got explosives on my rap sheet. I got all type of other shit, you know what I'm saying? Boom, like that, you know what I'm saying? But overall... It was really based out of hunger to just be my own person, you know what I'm saying, and get it how I knew how to get it, you know what I'm saying, boom. But uh, could I say like, yo, if I had went in the jail, had and went it went to jail at that time, yeah, I could say whatever. But it's more important what I'm doing now, right? You know what I'm saying. So now in this day and time, to really answer your question, you know what I'm saying, like I work with I work with kids. I, I work for a nonprofit organization, right? that deals with gun violence in the hood. We um we contracted by the mayor's office, you know what I'm saying? And I go to like I go before COVID, they had, you know, I was I was scheduled to do a school run and talk to bigger audiences or whatever. Like where I'm from in Staten Island, at my job I go usually to 
places like the vision, the probation, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm not one of them dudes like that. Like, I don't, I don't tell these kids like, yo, ah, ah, you can, I'm not a hypocrite, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a hypocrite. I be, a lot of shit come from, a lot of shit come from not being all the way real with your children. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I have one, I have one child, right? I have, and he's not a child, he's a grown ass man. My, my son is going to be 28 this year, right? And through all the shit that I've been through, right? I did, I did five state bids, right? Through my son's life, you know what I'm saying? But he stick to me like glue because he always told me that for the times I was home, I was home for the important shit for him. You know what I'm saying? But overall, my son, my son is a way better individual than me all the way around the board. And that's all I ever wanted in life anyway, if I had kids for them to be better than me. You see that's what I'm true. saying? And that and that's the real that's the real shit. So I'm like, yo, I'm home now. I talk to other kids like, yo, listen, man, you see my rap sheet. You see what it's about. I'm not going to be no hypocrite because at the end of the day, you don't know me. You just here for whatever time period, whatever, whatever. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But the fact of the matter is this. I leave any young kid with this. If you think that you're grown enough, right, to be out in these streets doing what grown-ups do and shit like that, right, then don't you think that it should be wise with this being the information age, right? And all the kids having all this information, all this technology and all this shit, right? So they supposed to be smarter, smarter than us anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, yo, if you're going to be a crook, right? Let's just say this, right? Nobody can't tell you nothing. You in the street, you banging, gang, 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 you doing what you doing. All right, fine. That's all right, cool. But know what you signed up for. Right. Right? Know what you signed up for, bro. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, like, yo, you doing what you doing and you acting grown, then you should research the people that do or did what you did and got away with it. What the fuck is going on around here, right? If I want, like, look, look, look. If I want to know, right? If I want to know how to build a fucking gun from a fucking 3D, 4D, whatever the fuck them shits is, right? And a machine, right? At least I gotta go research how them shits is done. You know what I'm saying? If if I wanna like this what I learned <laughs> from all these years that I should that I should have to keep myself. Yo, if you're gonna be in the streets, this what you gonna do. Nobody can't stop you from doing what you wanna do. This is what people gotta understand. Everybody gonna do what they wanna do. Back. Right? I don't give a fuck who it is. And then deal with the fallout, however it go, whatever, whatever. But what I'm saying is if you're going to do that, why do that and do it naked? Research that shit. Uh, yeah. How the fuck you talk about, yo, I want to be the plug, right? But you don't know shit the plug know how to do. You understand what I'm saying? How you going to be the plug, right? And you don't even know how to conduct yourself around motherfuckers that's plugs that how they conduct themselves. So. Why you don't why you don't research that? Now nah, you want to research how a nigga gonna put another a diamond in your face or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Shit niggas got going on or whatever, whatever. Niggas rather wear niggas rather jump in the skinniest pants and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Boom, not knocking nobody else or whatever. But I'm saying, yo, dog, if you gonna be a counterfeit a dog. I don't care who you are, young nigga or old nigga. If this what you're going to do, why you don't research counterfeiters that made it yeah, and right. got away with it? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers that did this and got away with it. Now, nah, you would rather watch the nigga up the block. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That he ain't, he ain't get the memo <laughs> neither. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, Back, wanna, you know what I'm saying? Like, like niggas be like, yo, I'm a shooter, I'm a shooter, I'm a shooter, right? But I'm like, yo. What qualifies you to say that? Who you shot? Hold on. Who you shot? Yo, my name, my name, I super do. Yo, who you did something to? Who gave you that name? <laughs> who who you did something to for that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's uh, like, but anyway, all I tell kids is like, yo, bro, if you in a situation and you want to do better for yourself, then research what doing better for yourself is and go do that. 
You know what I'm saying? Do that. If you want to, if you think you want to run around and do all this negative shit, well, it's an education for that too. You know what I'm saying? The, me, my thing is that with me, you could get one or the other from me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying like I give you anything other than information, right? Because with all the bids that I did, guaranteed one thing, you know what I'm saying? I know what not to do in this day and time, right? <laughs> right. Right? If I don't know nothing else, I know what not to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, that's and if another motherfucker, if another motherfucker knew me, right, and knew what I've been through, right, he would use me for whatever type of example he want. Because I don't got that type of ego like that. Like, yo, if I was a bad example of anything, right, then use me for that. It don't matter long as you use it and better you with it. You know what I'm saying? That's where I come from with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yo, I'm a realist, bro. I'm a realist, man. And my story, my, sto my story, how I made it to Staten Island and all that is is for another day. But you know what I mean? Like, but as far as the music and shit, once, once I got like affirmations from other rappers, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker tell me, yo, that PLO style shit, yo, that's my shit, bro. I'm like, a nigga who... A nigga who, you know what I'm saying? A nigga who I done bought his records. Like, you know what I'm saying? Being a fan. And I'm really a fan, though. Look, I'm really a hip-hop fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I go all the way back. One of the first records I ever bought was The Message of 45. I was a little nigga with a little suitcase on phonograph I used to run around with, you know what I'm saying, as a kid. But I always loved music, and I guess that's it was like that part of me that, all my other brothers attracted to, you know, as far as I go, because they knew I knew songs. They knew I knew old rhythms, old melodies, old shit. They knew that, you know what I'm saying? Individually. So after that, it was over. And even when I did projects with Duck, these is, I did the projects with the people that I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit like that. And that was in and out of coming out of jail, because I would come out of jail, you know, and, and shit, Mep, I work on music. I be in L.A. with Mep, chilling, boom, boom. And then I be like, yo, I got to go back to New York. I'll go back to New York. Something happened, I shoot a nigga over something. Something happened, and I clap a nigga, and now I'm locked up. Nigga, next time Mep here, four months later, yo, where this nigga at? Yo, this nigga's up north. Yo, this nigga just, you know what I'm saying? And I know, like, you know, like, I, I let him down a lot, too, with that type of shit, just trying to nap. You know what I mean? But... At the end of the day, man, I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? I'm in here, got a studio. Boom, I'm in here, Meth Lab Studios. Bell, we got the we got the third installment of the Meth Lab project. It's called the Rehab. You know what I'm saying? That's getting ready to drop and shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, we got I got other side projects. Me and Hands On Music. I got my album dropping. I got I got the project with DJ Nut. It's 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 a small project, you know what I'm saying? Because it was me doing records and me vibing with the bro. So this was me going to see him, right? And this is the the things I came up with just on, like, a weekend. We was at his house just vibing and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? He a good brother. You know what I'm saying? His attention is good. Solid, like, you know what I'm saying? Solid. I really fuck with him. And you know, son, let me tell you, son, bro, not for nothing, I don't do interviews, right? I, I Like... I did, I did, since I've been home, right, and while people ask me to do interviews, right, what, while people ask me to do interviews, but it's like, I done turned down book deals and all of that shit to talk about the behind the scenes of being, like, a Wu-Tang affiliate, because I don't, you know, I don't even like that shit, me personally, because I'm not a Wu-Tang affiliate, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm that, I came from the source. You know what I'm saying? I came from the source. Like, the Wu-Tang affiliates, only the ones that's family, right? Only the brothers that they call Wu-Tang affiliates that's family, right, deserve that. And even though, even them, they deserve to be Wu-Tang, just Wu-Tang, period. Because Wu-Tang is the body. You know what I'm saying? Should I it's all of us. You know what I'm saying? Exact same and, thing. And, yeah, of course. 
You know what I'm saying? And I and and, and you and I'm talking about not even the people that rap. I'm because I'm talking right. about everybody that I know from Staten Island that supported from the beginning. And that's what made it the phenomenon, right? Because we would do show like like the we would have shows in Brooklyn or whatever. Yo, neighborhoods on Staten Island that didn't fuck with each other. That Monday through Friday, if you got caught out of bounds, nigga, you was getting clipped, right? Would put all of that aside, and we would show up to the show 300 deep, 500 deep. I'm talking about women, niggas, females, all of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about all them people. But as far as all of that is Wu-Tang, you know what I'm saying? But as far as the music goes, you know what I'm saying? I can't be affiliated to something that I was raised with. Of course. This is simple facts. I'm not saying it to you because I know you understand these concepts of what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I was raised in the same pot with Ray, with that, with you, God. You know what I'm saying? Coming all the way up. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the people that's tuning in and all that that know me, they know I'm not captain. You know what I'm saying? They know me. You know what I'm saying? So for somebody to call me a Wu Tang affiliate, I don't I don't get offended right away, but I be like, yo, I'm really not affiliate. But since I don't do interviews like that, right? I came home, I did West Craven and them um, joint. You know what I'm saying? Cause I like they I like what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? I like I said, I turned down like three different books. You know what I'm saying? Just because I don't do shit off the reservation. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. I came, I came in the, up in this shit with all of them, but meth brought me into the music aspect. So anytime anybody be trying to get it, I run it by my big bro, like yo, and I'm older than him. He's just bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? Especially but, now, huh? Especially now, that nigga swole up. Yeah, yeah, but I don't care about none of that. That's my brother. We yeah, scrap, we do whatever, because we really family. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so, with that being said, man, you know what I mean? It's like. I'm just happy to be here, bro. Yo, my last case, I blew trial. I blew trial in 2013, right? They gave me 13 to life. I'm not supposed to be here. And I ain't have to tell on nobody or none of that. I wound up four years later with seven years. You know what I'm saying? Because I did my due diligence in court and all that. You know what I'm saying? Boom. But it was a case I caught on Rikers Island. You know what you I'm came, saying? You came home when? I came home. All right, look. The last, I came home. The for, most recent since time. Then. I've been home. I've been home for two years now. Right. That's, I came what, I, yeah, that's, that's what I thought roughly about. I came home in 2019. I did seven years, almost eight, before that. You know what I'm saying? Boom. And then I was on the run for two years before that. Hey, yo, Flash. Yo, Shuck Cannon. Can't, yo. But anyway, you know what I mean? I don't be, you know, I'm not, I, anyway, I just talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I just Yo, have conversations. Listen, real quick, man, I, I appreciate you for keeping it real. And it's not about like, yo, I'm just, I, I don't, I just want to even call these interviews, man. I just chop it up with cats. And I, and I like to build with cats that, that I, that I'm, you know what I'm saying? That I'm, that kind of see eye to eye with or whatever like that. So it's like, you know what I mean? This is. This is some real shit, you know. Like I, I respect you for just sharing whatever you're sharing, man. It's, you know what I mean? It's like this is this is you. This is your life. And to me, like I said, from a music perspective, I heard PLO style, Mr. Sandman, and I'm like, who that nigga? And then you're explaining, you know, what happened, who that nigga? Because you know what I'm saying. So where where you were? Because I was looking for more, but you, you 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 jumped in, you did your joints, and you was out. You know what I'm saying? So. This is important, yo, and a, and a lot of what you're sharing is important because, like I said, it, this shit isn't recorded. A lot of our history isn't recorded, and a lot of things that go on is, is, is not recorded. We hear the surface shit, you know what I'm saying? So I just appreciate you for, for being straightforward. One quick question before we play the new joint that you sent me. I'm a, I, I got to play that shit. Um, yo, your name, because that's a famous baseball player. So how did that come from? All right, check this out, right? Like, he was one of my favorite players, right? Right, he was one of my favorite players, but actually it started from a joke. Incidentally, I was listening to like I was listening to NWA or something on the block, right? 
And I think it was fuck the police or whatever, whatever. And the police came through and they pulled up and I'm singing this shit. So they, they approached me, whatever, whatever. So when they asked me my name, I said, my name is Carlton. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They like, Carlton, Carlton what? Carlton Fisk, like the baseball player, right? But suffice it to say, I want to get locked up. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So when they locked me up, right, they charged me under that name. Battery, 100%. You know what I'm Good. saying? So I went to, I'm, I'm a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? At the time, I was like. They charged they, you with that name? Yeah. They charged me under that name. It's one of my aliases on my rap sheet, right? But what kind, what, because, yo, not for nothing, like, None of the people I really grew up with call me Carlton. You know what I'm saying? None of none of the people that know me know me grow up. They call me GC. You know what I'm saying? They don't call me Carlton Fist. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so it was like after that arrest, right? Whatever happened, I got around it. So now when the police see me in the hood, they be like, "Yo, Carlton Fist, come here." You know what I'm saying? Boom, I take off. You know what I'm saying? I'm running with the joint. Boom, boom. So I just always had that name. So. When I met other people and they was like, yo, yo, who your man? Yo, my name Carlton. It's disarming. Like, I could be planning to stick you up. But if I tell you my name is Carlton, you like, hold up. His name's Carlton. He ain't, he ain't got no God body name. His name ain't, his name ain't homicide. His name yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so power you know what I'm shit like that. Shit. I'm like, yo, my name is Carlton Fish. They be like, what kind of name is that? I'm like, yo, now I'm mixed. My pops from Cuba. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's what? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it always worked for me. So I used it. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, a lot of shit, like even doing that, because Meth never called me Carlton Fish before I started doing the music. He never called me that. You know what I'm saying? He called me what he always called me. You know what I'm saying? But overall, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it was different. People thought it really was my name. Like in Def Jam, up at Def Jam, they thought that really was my name. Because that was, because, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? You like, oh yeah, right? Yeah. When you embarrassed to be stuck up by a nigga Yo, hold on, and hold on, he hold on, told hold on, you his name on, was Carlton. Hold on, 